Starting with the Nigerian myth, JJ Okosha, who was a maestro. Okosha joined PSG in 1998 and went on to stay there for four years. The magician played as an attacking midfielder. He appeared in 113 games for PSG and he scored 20 goals in the process. You can't separate these two. They are the world's most incredible footballers as we speak. Who else but Neymar and Mbappe? One is a magician of the ball, while the other is the greatest young player in the world. Both joined PSG in 2017, in a deal which cost PSG over 400 million euros. Neymar and Mbappe formed an incredible duo, which is still intact today. They reached the Champions League final in 2020, but couldn't win it. They have won nine trophies together, including three League One titles. Moving on with Luis Fernandez. Fernandez was a versatile defensive player who also featured as a midfielder. He started his career with Paris Saint-Germain at the age of 19 in 1978 and remained with the club until 1986. During his long stay, he registered himself as a figure to remember for the Parisians as he appeared in 225 games for PSG. Fernandez won three trophies, including a league title and Coupe de France twice. Zlatan doesn't need an introduction. This competitive beast spent one of the best years of his magnificent career at PSG, spending four seasons in flying colors. Zlatan's numbers at PSG are legendary like himself. He managed to score 156 goals for the club in just 180 appearances. Until 2016, when he said goodbye to PSG, he had already won 12 trophies, including four consecutive League One titles. Bernard Lama was Paris's standout goalkeeper in the 90s. He joined the Parisians in 1992 and stayed there until the turn of the century. During the eight years, Lama had ups and downs, but undoubtedly it was the best years of his career. During his prime, he was an absolute wall between the sticks. Bernard featured over 300 times for PSG and won five trophies for the club. Marco Verratti is among the finest midfielders in the world due to his beautiful playing style. But at just 28 years of age, he is already PSG's legend. Verratti quickly established himself at the highest stages of European football. It's his ninth season at PSG, and let's hope this story continues for many more years to come. So far, Verratti has won 26 trophies at PSG. That's a huge number, right? There's no second opinion of how good Thiago Silva was in his prime. A world-class defender. He spent his best years at PSG as he joined the club in 2012 and remained there until 2020. He appeared in 315 games for PSG and won seven League One titles. Collectively, he won 23 titles in just eight years. Silva also reached the Champions League final with PSG in 2020, which he unfortunately lost. Legend. Here's to the midfielder of immense quality. Mustafa Deleb is the name. The Algerian superstar spent 10 years at PSG in the 70s and 80s. Daleb was an exceptional midfielder who was also a prolific goal scorer and amazing assist provider. Over the years, he won two trophies for the club. An iconic legend of Parisians. David Ginola was surely amongst the world's most entertaining footballers back then. He signed for PSG in 1992 and remained there until 1995. He was instrumental for the club as he put up a great show during his stay. He appeared over 150 times for Parisians and scored 40 goals in the process. He also won four trophies, including two Coupe de France. Suzik was PSG's sensation in the 80s, a magical trick artista who played for the club for over nine years. Safet reached formidable heights with the club, having won the league title and Coupe de France both once. He scored 85 goals. Moreover, he was also a great assist provider. Here's a 90s hero. We all know how good Wea was. Wea spent three exquisite years at Paris Saint-Germain until 1995. He won four domestic titles with Parisians, but he was a constant threat in Europe too. His most amazing Champions League campaign was 94-95, when he helped PSG to reach the semifinals, and Weah was the top scorer of that Champions League edition. His impressive form earned him a Ballon d'Or in 1995. Edinson Cavani ranks at number four today. His numbers at PSG are world class as he is their highest top scorer ever. This Uruguayan sharpshooter signed for the Parisians in 2013 and arrived as the most expensive player of French history. And later on, he proved he was worth every penny. Cavani had an impressively successful seven years at the club until 2020. He won 21 trophies. In his last year at the club, he was also Champions League runner-up. 
Players like Ronaldinho leave their marks wherever they go, and he did it at PSG too. PSG was Ronnie's first choice in Europe, the club who announced him to the world. He signed for PSG in 2001 and remained there until 2003. He gave PSG fans many memories to remember in this mere period. Ronaldinho's sensational performance in the semifinal of Coupe de France against Bordeaux will be remembered forever when he scored two goals and fired Paris into the final. He scored 25 goals in PSG colors. Pauleta is an integral part of PSG's history, and here he is at number two today. The Pauletta era at Parc de Prince started in 2003 and the legend continued until 2008. In five years, Pauletta scored over 100 goals for the club and won three trophies including Coupe de France twice. His contribution to the club was massive. He was absolutely heroic for the Parisians. Rai is undoubtedly the best player ever to play for PSG. He joined the Parisians in 1993 and stayed there for the next five years. A true big stage player who always delivered when PSG needed him the most. The Brazilian was an attacking midfielder who famously scored goals in both domestic finals in 1998 as PSG lifted the honors. What a player! That's all the French action today. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below. It's now your time to speak. What top do you want to see in the next videos? Thanks for sticking till the end. Make sure you share this video with all your friends and we will catch you soon with the next video. Stay tuned.